loans went to the right place. Okay, there has been definitely uh, loads of loans going to the real estate with uh, the consequence already mentioned. The other thing is also some loans going to industrial investment, apart, uh, put infrastructure aside, but coming into industrial investment that may not be necessary, creating some overcapacity. And we see, for instance, I have seen recently some case of companies still investing in steel production, where you know there are very too much capacity. and banks have been allowed this kind of project. So this is one of the challenge for the government, probably in Chinese authority, is really control the kind of investment made. Not that there should be no investment, there's still some needs, but make sure it's made in say, proper sectors or proper investment without creating overcapacity, which is on top of the other situation, export notably being quite weak would eventually put more pressure on margins because you create a capacity and if you want to sell, you need to decrease the price with labor cost up, uh, less uh, demand on export. So that could trigger eventually some default on, say, non-performing investments there. One other in a quick illustration, and I'll probably be uh, finishing soon on this. Uh, the stimulus package has been very efficient. Loads of sectors definitely benefited strongly from the stimulus package, but at the same time, those same sectors were also the ones where we saw, according to a payment survey we made in the last part of 2009, this is also where we had most of the default or payment incident in China. Not only on the credit insurance point of view, but this is more general, is even not insured uh, respondent there on this uh, survey. So. The, Overall payment habit in China is still not so good, and uh, prudence remain highly necessary. Okay, quick uh, payment experience in Asia. It's better than the rest of the world. So I think we've been able to get out of the crisis, being less affected for the first point, and getting out definitely about, uh, before the rest of the world. So you see the improvement in claims received in Asia is basically restarting already in mid-09. We had a significant improvement from that moment. And for the time being, this remains true, and we still see an improvement on, on the default and payment uh, claims experience. Not so much true on other Asian countries, uh, or for various reasons, including Thailand. You see there quite a number of payment difficulty. Malaysia, India also was pretty much affected, but now we are going back again more to low level, expect from Thailand, not surprisingly. Country ratings remain quite stable uh, during the, the crisis, the A2, uh, considered good ratings. The exception eventually being still China, India. Why A3? Because of a strong economic growth, we should expect a better rating. That's because of the points I was mentioning earlier, is basically the, diff the general behavior in terms of payment still not so good. Contractual elements may not always be respected or be true, and the recourse is very difficult. And we have seen a very significant deterioration during this two-year crisis in China when you have to go legal. All this information is available on Kofas website. It's free of charge, and it's updated on a regular basis. So I will stop there. Uh, there's other elements you will find in the presentation you can download later this afternoon. You also have payment experience and elements on other parts of the world. Uh, so I think I'll stop there and invite you to uh, go to the website for more information and updated information. Thank you.